Also new at four, the COVID-19 pandemic disrupted school and life in 2020. I don't need to tell you that, including well visits for children. We are going to talk about that. And now many kids are behind on routine childhood immunizations. Many, of course, are required for attending school. So joining us with more from Children's Hospital is Dr. Heather Radu. It's good to see you. Thank you. Obviously, vaccines are so important, but why are they so critical post COVID-19? Well, that's a great question. So really, I think Part of that why it's important is that so many did miss their vaccine. So kids that were normally getting vaccinated, the CDC showed a big dip in that rate of pediatric mm -hmm. vaccination. So when we have those kids not vaccinated, that's going to expose them not only to the virus that's in there, COVID mm -hmm. that's out there now, but also to those other viruses that they're usually protected from. You don't want to complicate matters. No, you really don't. Uh, One illness is enough. Yes, uh, too much. Yes. Uh, what are some of the common vaccines that, that kids need? So. There are several. So you get your measles, mumps, and rubella, which mm -hmm. we all know about, your diphtheria, your tetanus. But there are others, um, hemophilus influenza, and there's another one that's a Prevnar vaccine. And those two really are protective against things that are more... Um, more seen, I guess, would be the best way to say mm -hmm. it. We don't see measles as much, but those right. we, we do still see. And pre-having that vaccine, I would see a lot of meningitis, bone oh, infections wow. from those um, that we now can vaccinate against. So. Oh, that, that is so wonderful. What about the HPV vaccine for older kids? I know that came around when my kids were growing up. Yes, yes, it has. So that one is recommended. It's mm -hmm. not one that is required, but yeah. it is recommended. And typically, they get it around 11 years old and mm -hmm. prevents against several types of cancers. All right, and there are lots of important reasons to vaccinate your kids. Uh, let's talk about that. Let's just kind of sum it up for everybody. Yeah, so many reasons. You want to protect your child. Again, illnesses, we can't vaccinate those we can. If yeah. we're not susceptible or getting both of those, that's better for the children. Mm -hmm. It protects those around you as well. So if you have a loved one that's got cancer or any kind of chronic disease, you're protecting them as well as you get those vaccines. And real quick, before we let you go, I know every time we do one of these interviews, parents, some parents will call and say, I, I still worry about vaccines. Yeah. and the safety so absolutely talk to them yeah, I think that's a great point. So, you know, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of information nowadays. So I can go on Google or the internet and get a ton of information. Mm -hmm. I think it's important when you have those concerns to be able to sit down with your pediatrician and just talk about those concerns. A lot of them are valid concerns that you just need to have a conversation about mm -hmm. and know what that trusted resource is. Wonderful. Stick with that one. Yes. All right. Doctor, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it. And if you have a question about your child's health, you'd like for us to get answered, just send me an email. L. Tucker at WATE.com will pass it along to Children's Hospital and then tune in to Channel 6 every Thursday at 4 to see if we answer your question on the air.